when I'm looking this oil level here on the dipstick, it's uh, just below the medium. Hello Internet! I have been thinking of doing this uh, video for a long time already and uh, now it's the time to do it. This video is about uh, checking engine oil level correctly according user manual, this very strict German procedure. It differs a little bit uh, from my earlier bikes and uh, it is a little bit more complicated but if you do it every time according manual then you know uh, how much exactly there is oil in the engine. So uh, in my previous bikes, in R BMW R bikes, uh, the procedure is that uh, you will look this uh, oil side glass, which is very visible and easy to check even uh, before you go to ride or after riding. But uh, this bike, uh, this doesn't have any oil side and uh, you have to use this uh, oil stick, dip stick, uh, for this measuring. And the procedure is roughly so that you have to have an uh, uh, engine which is uh, in its operating temperature. Then you have to put the bike on its center stand, firm ground, and uh, then you have to start certain procedure until uh, you can see the oil level. And, uh, Normally, if the oil level is between minimum and maximum indicator on the dipstick, then there's uh, nothing else to do. But uh, if it's lower than minimum level, you have to uh, put some oil there. So I'm going to do this procedure exactly according user manual. So when uh, doing this uh, oil checking procedure, I always use these nitrile gloves and uh, then of course some cotton rags. So let's do it. The step one according user manual is check the oil level only after a lengthy ride or when the engine is at operating temperature. The next point in the user manual is check that engine is at operating temperature, make sure the ground is level and firm and place the motorcycle on its center stand. So I'm currently in my garage and uh, it has concrete floor which is leveled and uh, the bike is in its center stand. Next I'm going to idle the engine until it's hot enough. This will take some time uh, in order to have this uh, engine temperature high enough. So I'm going to speed up a little bit this procedure. So, when the engine is idling around 100 degrees Celsius, uh, I'm preparing myself to next step. Next step is that allow the engine to idle until the fan starts up, then allow it to idle one minute longer. So, I'm waiting until I hear the fan and then I'm waiting one minute more and then shut down the engine. Now, the fan started to blow and uh, I'm measuring from my watch exactly one minute. I'm approaching one minute and uh, I'm preparing to shut down the engine. Exactly. 
Now, the last point was switch off the engine and wait for about one minute to allow the oil to drain into the sump, which is the lowest level on the engine. Then wipe the area around the oil filler neck clean. And now exactly one minute has passed after switching off the engine. And uh, the next point is remove oil dipstick one and wipe it with a clean dry cloth. The one refers to the graphics. I'm wiping this dipstick totally dry like that. And the next point is seat the oil dipstick on the oil filler neck but do not engage the threads like that. Then the last point is remove the oil dipstick and check the oil level. And when I'm looking this oil level here on the dipstick, it's uh, just below the middle mark, or there's no actually any mark, but just the middle on the maximum and minimum mark. So my oil level is totally okay and this bike hasn't consumed oil almost at all during my trip. So now I know for sure that uh, there's enough oil for me to continue with this bike and uh, let's see what is the next step. If the oil level is below the minimum mark, top up the engine oil. It's not. I'm not going to top up. If the oil level is above the max mark, okay, it needs to be taken away somehow. And the last uh, bullet point here is install the oil dipstick. So, now I have been uh, checking the engine oil of my BMW K1600 GTL uh, 2018 model and uh, it seems to be okay. I'm glad this won't consume any oil or uh, almost any oil, maybe within 10,000 km oil change interval. There's some uh, oil going through the engine, but uh, that's not a problem for me. And uh, then I can continue. My next trip is coming after a couple of weeks. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to ride something like uh, 3,000, 3,500 kilometers again to Norway. It's my favorite place on Earth currently. Maybe I changed my mind. And uh, with this one, now you know what is exactly the procedure of checking engine oil. So there's a lot of other uh, issues related to this engine oil and uh, engine oil changing interval and uh, what type of oil you use. But I'm not going into that deep swamp today, maybe next time or some other time. But uh, uh, I have to say that uh, I am kind of religious to uh, owner's manual and uh, factory information. So that's enough for me. So that was about it and uh, I hope that uh, you like this kind of videos and uh, if you do please click thumbs up and uh, maybe subscribe this channel because uh, this is fun to do if somebody is watching these videos. See you next time.